Hi, welcome to Hackintosh Factory. In this video, I want to show you how to install Mac OS Big Sur on this PC configuration. First, you need to download and install Python, Valina Etcher, Mac Drive 11 Trial, and free version of Minitool Partition Wizard. After installation, you need to reboot your system. Also, you can download all this files and EFI folder for this hardware for free. Check link in the description. Now, open the Belina Etcher. Click on Flash from File. Select the Big Sur.raw file. Then, select your target USB drive and flash it. Now, open the Minitool Partition software and find EFI Partition on USB drive. Right click on it. Select Change Letter. Click OK. Then, apply the changes. If you got this error and can't open the EFI drive, don't worry, you can be fixed it easily. Click on Windows menu and type Edit Group Policy and hit Enter to open it. In Computer Configuration, go to Windows Settings, then Security Settings and Local Policies. And finally, click on Security Options. Find Admin Approval Mode. Open it and select Disabled. Click on OK. Now find Run All Administration and Admin Approval and open it. Select Disabled and click on OK. Now you need to restart your windows. As you can see problem is solved. Now you can access to EFI partition and main installation drive. Now you need to copy paste the pre-built EFI folder on the USB drive's EFI partition. Now open the GenSM BIOS.bat file. Type 1 and press enter.
Type 2 and press enter. Now, you need to drag and drop config.plist file on the terminal window. Press enter. Type 3 and press enter. Type this Mac model name. Press enter. Now restart the PC and boot up USB drive. Select Disk Utility and click on Continue. Open View Menu and click on Show All Devices. Select the drive that you want to format and install macOS on. Type a name for your installation disk and click on Erase. Please subscribe on Hackintosh Factory channel if you didn't yet. Select the partition format as APFS and click on Erase. Close Disk Utility and click on Install Mac OS and continue. Now, follow the installation steps.
That's done. Apply your setup settings and finish the installation process. That's done. Now you need to copy the EFI folder on the USB drive to the Mac OS EFI partition. We will publish a newer EFI file and installation tutorial for this configuration as soon as possible. So don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Please like the video and subscribe on Hackintosh Factory channel.